Hey everybody, it's a me, Jordan Panasevich, and I'm back this time with my capstone project for Flatiron School's software engineering program. Uh, throughout the program, I've made several apps to help musicians like myself to get inspired and write better music and keep track of concert data, but one thing really persists is that music theory is hard. Uh, so enter Modify. It helps you build more complex chords and chord progressions to invoke more emotion through your music. So you're instantly met by this piano keyboard that looks like it's mapped to your computer keyboard. Fun fact, it is. And while uh, that's fun to play around on, I even gave you over 120 sounds to play with. Um, we're gonna stick to the piano today because it tends to sound really good with the chords that we'll be making. So as I press any of the keys on my computer keyboard, we'll see that reflected on the piano here, as well as in the current notes that are playing. And I can pause that in my chord builder by clicking up here or by pressing the shift key, which will play back the last note to confirm. Now I'm not holding anything, but we can see that we've still got that C3 in our current chord builder. So as I add more notes, again, I can pause with shift. And once I hit a officially recognized chord, uh, there's over 4,000 of them before we even get into voicings. It'll show up right here with the name. This is a C major chord. And now I can pause it with shift and keep adding notes or press enter to go into magic mode. Once we're in magic mode, we can see what key the chord we're playing is in. We can see that chord again here. It's a C major chord with C, E, and G in it. We can listen to that. And we're gonna add that to our chord progression builder here. So now to, to the fun part. <laughs> Um, we're going to get into some chord extensions, which include all three notes plus additional notes on top. And some of these run pretty deep and get pretty complex, but we're going to preview a few of these. Oh yeah, now we're adding some flavor and we're still just playing extended C major chords. Um, we can also explore major or minor suggestions. Um, we'll just explore major today because we're in that C major scale. So now we can see the notes in the C major scale as well as some instant suggestions that might go well with what we've already got going on in here. And we can also click on any of these notes to see even more suggestions of chords that might go well with the progression we're already building. Uh, my favorite thing is there's over 160 scales recognized. But now this dropdown shows only scales that include all of the notes in our current chord. So as I scroll through here, I see a ton of options, but I do love the blues. We can see that this does have the C, E, and G from our chord, and now we can use this as a reference for our melodies and know what notes to play in that scale. Or we can click on some of these other notes in here to see even more suggestions for chords that could go well with what we're currently playing. Of course, you can save these for later, or just clear these out and make another new awesome chord progression. Thank you guys so much for checking out Modify. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, contributions, ideas, job opportunities. Uh, hit me up on LinkedIn. Thanks for checking it out. See you guys again soon.